High school football championships are underway from Mechanicsburg with no central PA representation. We turn our high school coverage solely to basketball, which wrapped up its first full week of action tonight. The Ron Davidson round ball classic, Cambria Heights and Central Cambria. This one was a low scoring affair early. Cambria Heights up 4 0. Chase Rogel takes this one coast to coast. Central Cambria up 14 10 at the half. Red Devils got rolling, though, in the third. Ben Reams spotting up in the corner for three. 17 12 Red Devils. Later in the third, more from Rogel. It's going to be fouled in transition. Let's take a look here. Is his bucket's going to go? He hit the free throw. 17 13 lead. But it's the Highlanders winning 38 to 36. Another game of round ball, another game of the round ball classic, I should say. Cut him a township and Penn Cambria, third quarter of this one. Panthers up 40 to 29. One of Jordan Tracy's bad, bad men takes the basketball. Garrett Harold driving and finishing at the rim. More from Harold and the Panthers in the fourth quarter, up 44 37. Harold's first shot, no good, but Luke Schwagis there for the rebound. He'd finished with six points. CT looking to cut the lead. Three from John Updike makes it a six point game. 46 40 Panthers as they'd go on the win 49 to 47. A rivalry matchup with Greater Johnstown taking on Bishop McCourt. Crusher's got the opening tip and gets right to work. Ethan Casper drives, makes a filthy move and gets the floater. That'd be the only field goal that Bishop McCourt would make in the opening quarter. The Trojans did the rest. Dom Alberta drains the corner three to give Johnstown a 13 3 lead heading into the second quarter. Johnstown up by six with a minute to go in the half. Precise passing finds a cutting. Deion Dixon as Greater Johnstown gets the better of McCourt tonight, 69 to 44. In girls basketball, Tyrone opening its season at Bellwood Antis. The story early was the three balls fly in. This is Tyrone's Elena Woomer. Eagles down 9 5 early, but Bellwood was pretty much in control for all 32 minutes. Chelsea McCulski had 12 in the first half, an eight point Blue Devil lead. They'd stretch that lead the whole way out to 20 before intermission when Laney Quick is going to connect on this buzzer beater. BA up 41 18 at the half. They win big 58 